ladies and gentlemen, I'm Thomas Finn Jameson. On my channel you'll find pure cinema, music, reviews, comedy and more. Today I'm doing a Woe Nelly album review for Brian Eno, Before and After Science. A Woe Nelly album review occurs when I deem an album to be 10 out of 10 standard. So, um, this is the fifth album by Brian Eno I'm reviewing. That ties him as my most reviewed artist or band with Bruce Springsteen and Nine Inch Nails. And I think Brian Eno, safe to say, is a genius, 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 Mr. Deeds reference. So, d'accord. Without further ado, let's get to the review. Some of the tracks. Some of them. So, No One Receiving uh, is a really cool opener. It evokes the sense of technology, machinery, and this age of the internet. Um, for all our software, hardware, and otherware. We may be alone in the universe. Maybe, maybe. So pay heed, pay heed. Backwater. The lyrics are jovial and tongue in cheek. The piano riff is Roxy Music esque, as it's up tempo and stylish. Brian Eno was once a member of Roxy Music. Um, the third chorus is amazing. On the writing and production front, I'd say on this track, Eno did a quality job. Kurt's Rejoinder. It's a song that refers to Sonics and a chap called Kurt Schwitters, who was known for sound poems and being into phonetics. C'est intéressant. Energy Fools the Magician, the track on here. It's an instrumental, which means it's time to let the beat rock. Black Eyed Peas reference. Excellent and cool kind of sci-fi bass by Percy Jones and stellar drums from none other than Phil Collins. King's Lead Hat, which is an anagram of talking heads. Lyrically, it tickles the funny bone. And for this track, I'd say, oh my word. It's witty, it's slick. And I'd say for this one, that's a banger. Here he comes. Another track on here. I think it's amazing. This track has a touch of class, superior production and delivery. Julie With, I actually sampled this on a track of my own. Sonically, it's excellent. Takes you on this sonic journey. Uh, it's very effective, say the bells, at conveying the ambience on the overall production side of this track. Now we get to the closing track, semi-sonic reference. Spider and I. So I also sampled this on one of my tracks. Uh, the theme of water is present on here, i.e. oceans, ships, and sailing. Very much a motif on this LP. Uh, and on this song. It's a brilliant closer to the album with solid instrumentation. Music and lyrics I'll get to now. So the album is extremely strong on both fronts. I would actually say they're on a par. Consistency. Well, there's no bad track. So, on a consistency level, c'est parfait. Style. So you have art rock, experimental pop, art pop and avant pop on here. The album highlights the uber ability in creating music from Brian Eno, including ambient, ambient textures on here. There's a luxuriousness to Brian Eno's music that's 100% on Before and After Science. Impact. Rolling Stone Album Guide gave it 5 out of 5. Joe Thunbacher, a critic, called it the perfect Brian Eno album. All Music also gave it 5 out of 5. Potential. So, this is an album I'd certainly like to revisit. Uh, it has a soundtrack kind of quality to it, i.e. it evokes imagery, like I mentioned earlier. Interesting, as Brian Eno was inspired by soundtracks from the likes of, say, Ennio Morricone. He's on record saying that in interviews. Um, so it may continue to be remembered and seen and heard as regarded, you know, as one of Brian Eno's best albums. So my verdict on this album, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Also known as a Whoa Nilly! So thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. 
Feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, for my posts, updates, and song recommendations. SoundCloud for my music, Spotify for my playlists, and Letterboxd for my film reviews and lists. With that, I say tie, meaning, take it easy.